Hey everybody, welcome back to Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And we're playing Dark Souls 3, Fear of the Wyvern Edition. What you guys don't know, what you know now, is that this is actually our fourth intro for this episode. Because all of our other ones were way too good. We're like, oh man, this is such a beautiful scene, and the intro was perfect, and we have to save it forever. No, <laughs> mostly because I had a terrible ta case of the giggles, and I couldn't stop laughing. Hey, he, he pulled him down. That's awesome. Watch out. <laughs> Don't fall down because that puzzle that man be is like right at the bottom of those stairs. Okay, so... And can reach you from there. I feel like I'm super fucking weak as far as my defenses go. Well, that's because you're wearing light armor. But, like, <laughs> I, I feel like anything can kill me in two hits. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Um, if you're feeling that way, you could ember. You could put more points into Vigor, but that would be a mistake. If you the feel trick, that way, you could just get more hit points. The, what you could do is to not get hit like a scrub and, you know, actually win. Oh, oh fuck. I'll just, that sounds like the easiest of all of the options, so it, I'll just do that. It is. Oh, shit. These fuckers are fast. I hate these guys. Plus, you know, the frostbitten doesn't... I hate these guys. Oh, butterfingers. Hey, why am I not backstabbing him? Because you can't backstab these guys. You just said you could backstab anything that's not a boss. Um, I don't know if I said anything that's not a boss. Well, yeah, you implied it. No, you can't backstab a slug. A slug is much worse than a boss, though. But yeah, it's like ten times harder. Have you ever had a slug on you? What kind of a question is that? Yeah. Really? Like a big slug or like... I don't know, like a slug. Like sucking your blood. Like That's a leech, dude. Like... Oh yeah, what the fuck am I... Man, look, I'm tired. <laughs> Those are way different. How did you die? I looked away from the screen for like two seconds. Oh, you missed it. He used his sword and he hit me. <laughs> so tell me about... Yeah, a leech. That's so right. tell me about the one time you had a slug on you. <laughs> like, um, okay. Tell me about this one time, a slug, like sucked, sucked your blood. Your blood. <laughs> no, that's man. a fucking leech. I totally mean a a tooth slug. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never had any experience with leeches, and they sound terrifying. I know, right? They, they're like, I think I would be like a little perturbed. Well, because it's like you get them when you go swimming. Right, yeah. And then you get out of wherever you're swimming, and they're probably, like, in your dick. <laughs> inside your dick. Yeah, it's fucking gnar. What is with all these things wanting to be inside of your dick, right? All these parasites are like, I love the dick! And you're like, go away. I, where are parasite. you getting your parasite info from? <laughs> I'm from Parasite Dicks Anonymous, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I have, it's a support group for those who have no! parasites in their dick, duh. You've never had a parasite in your dick? I'm not saying that I never have, but... <laughs> Backstep. Yeah, boy. And watch this, watch this, watch this. Just like Coach Todd. Boom, baby. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you scared me. No! Jesus. <laughs> I... Coach hmm. didn't teach you that. I was rolling... My iframes, Travis. I need more iframes. I... You're frames. already, like, light armor, aren't you? Or are you medium armor? Look, it doesn't matter. You're fine. Get in there. Kick its ass. You could two-hand your sword. But my shield. Yeah, you need your shield more. Plus, the two-handing won't help you much because it's not a strength weapon. I thought that was only in D&D &D that counted. No, that's... that's in this. That happened, It's real life, too. It's in, yeah, it's in Dark Souls. It's, it's, and and in, in, in real life. Yeah. Uh, but you know they use uh, leeches for like medical. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I, did. I, I haven't seen it, but this shit's fucking nasty. Yeah, they still use it to this day, don't they? Yeah. Not, yeah. not to the to the extent that they did before. Oh my god! Oh my god! But oh my god! It oh does god. still oh happen. Oh my god! I found a fucking corner. Fantastic. Doing it. How did you do it? You found the one corner in a million miles. Mine. You are mine. Okay. All right. Let's win. <laughs> You could have just go run, and maybe they won't follow you. Because that happened that last time. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. Oh, I would have just kept going. Oh my god. And away! It looks like only one of them followed you. Die! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Die! Oops. Got him. 
Good thing I'm a wizard. Yeah, right? If you weren't a wizard, then you'd be subpar. Uh, wizard class equal best class. So, um, this is that area that we saw in the very beginning of the game. We saw that you were going to come to this area. And now you have. This is a riveting tale. I forget, like, how good you are at lore. Can't. There you go. You see that platform that's right there in the center? Uh -huh. We'll be going there. Like, this is all... That little bridge in between the two buildings right there? Yep, we're gonna go there. Again, yeah. Fantastic level design. Yes. Yeah. So, like, that thing before? It's now. <laughs> no way! Blah. Bwom is like a universal sound for like no, revelation of yeah, exactly like yeah. idea epiphany. Right. Watch out, you're gonna be you're gonna be fresh, bro. Mm, and dead. Oh, and dead. And dead, and dead, and dead, and dead, and dead. You get this thing down and to dead. like and dead, and dead, three and dead, quarters dead. health, and then you die. I get it down to three quarters health. That's no. not very. <laughs> you mean you? <laughs> Travis, you've been getting into my beer. <laughs> You're all over you get, the place. You reduce its health yeah. by three quarters. Look, you know, what's funny is that my job is all about numbers. It's all about math. <laughs> it's, I have a math job. <laughs> and I know math. Okay, look. We've, we've, been, we've been working on some new systems at my work. And there's been some issues. So oh, my God. Look, this little you're tiny trying guy. trying to run past everything. Why yep. don't you just... Pull out like one, two enemies. So when you say I've been trying to run past everything, this is like the first time in a bajillion times I've tried to run past anything. You've, you've been fault. You've been running past <sighs> these enemies. What you do is you pull all four of them at once. Grab the first one, kill him. Then grab the second one to kill him. You make one. it sound so easy. It is. No. It's extremely easy. You just have the patience. Shut. Of us, you small the child. Front door. My five-year-old got the um, the master sword in the new Breath of the Wild Zelda game, and the Hylian shield. These two items that he's been working on for literally months. He's been patient every single day, working at them little by little, going at a good and slow pace, at a pace that he can handle. My five-year-old has more patience than you do. Okay, well, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm going to have fucking great patience, and yeah. it's going to be fucking awesome, well, and it's still going to suck dick. <laughs> I'm a grown-ass man. I could, I could beat your son up. <laughs> I was like, I, I guess. Chew on that. <laughs> Chew on that, sucker. Boom. Actually, although I'm super proud of my son because he did that. So when he... You should drink. Oh, you oh yeah, I should. You're right. Huh. Wish I, I mean, would, wish I would have thought of that. You should drink, yes. <laughs> um, so, actually, no, I'm super proud of him because um, when he first got the Master Sword, he's been talking about it for months. He finally got it, and I, call, I, I found out from my wife who texted me, and I called her, and I was all like, give, give him the phone. Mm -mm -mm. And I told him that I'm so proud of you. Because it was just something that he had, like I said, worked on little by little every single day. And just, like, found all the shrines and leveled up his hit points so that he could draw it and all the thing. He was, it was amazing. Because he had told himself months ago that he wanted to do it. And he just kept at it. And then with his, um, with his, uh, with the shield, he got it today. And he actually... Um, again, called me like he, he. Yeah, he called me. He said, "I want to talk to Dad," and so he told me, and I told him I was super proud of him because he, he's lately been telling me that he wants that he. He kind of like looks for praise from me, mm -hmm. so he'll. He's it, like, I just want you to be proud of me. Dad. He did get something in Zelda that was like smaller, but then he said. Like Dad, you didn't say that you're proud of me. Uh -huh. I was like, <laughs> like, oh, well. I'm sorry. Do you need me to tell you that? For um, for the things that you do, and he, he told me he said he had the presence of mind, uh, which you know kids don't usually do, to say yes. And so I've been yes, Dad. I want you to love me. You ask. <laughs> no, but, but like you know, sometimes kids require different things. Um, 
and so he needs them. <laughs> you can see the pus. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I tried like fighting things down there, and it can totally reach you. Uh, so yeah, so I just don't. Different kids require different things, and so he uh, seems to really, um, uh, you know, feed off of the the verbal praise that I can give him. So I I do now. So I make sure that every every time he like shows me something, I'm like, you know, great job, because I know he. It really works for him. So, he's the favorite, is what you're saying. No, it's just, I know what he needs. He's like, Dad, he I want to be the favorite, and I want you to tell my brothers and sisters <laughs> that in front I'm of them one that, the best. Yes, <laughs> that I'm the favorite. And I'm just impressed that he has the presence of mind to know that he wants and needs that, and um, is also not shy about asking for it. No, that is awesome. That's really a very... Um, adult of him that because it's one thing to know that you need it or like think that you need it and it's another thing to say it right to articulate it and to to to, to seek it out you should heal you should be at cap this guy at all times do what remember you can drink more than one potion at once right what do you mean as in you can like chain drink shut you've i've told you this multiple times i don't think you have yes i have Beautiful. Ah, oh. first try. That guy was a puss. That was easy as wow. shit. Jeez, I don't know what the big deal is so, about. Yeah, no, you know. Hold on, right. hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try it out right now. I don't no, care if you I don't have enough health. You don't have enough health to be worth it. Oh, will it not let me keep going? Well, yeah. I mean, no, no, I don't think. I don't. Think I mean, so. I, in the sake of science, for the sake of science, just, I don't really... just next time you need more than one health's worth, push it twice. All right, you got the Irithyll Raper, the Spirit Tree, Crest Shields. There's like four chests in this room. Are they all friendly? You're gonna have to find that out for yourself. Cause I remember I got a little willy nilly with one one time, and <laughs> that, <laughs> that one must be totally fine. <laughs> and it ate my face nice. off. Nice, a lot of these twinklings. That's all the chests. No, there's one more there. They're like right next to each other. Yeah, they cram these things in here. Yeah. This would be the best place for a mimic, like. Right? Oh, yeah. Scale! That's what yeah. I needed! Yeah. yeah! You can level up your Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah! All right, yeah. so let's take a look at those two, the shield and the sword. <laughs> the shield and sword. Yeah. Uh, it was Here's more a of rapier. a rapier. Yeah, there it Travis. is. Thrusting sword bestowed upon the outrider knights of the Boreal Valley. This weapon is shrouded in frost and causes frostbite. Every outrider knight one day devolves into a beast, constantly hounded by Pontiff Sullivan's black eyes. Gross. And then... It's a little dark, but okay, whatever. <laughs> um, the spirit tree, the crest shield. Knight shield, engraved with the crest depicting spirit tree. One of the enchanted blue shields reduces lightning damage. Uh, so unless you go heavy, heavy, heavy into strength, which I don't recommend. Why not? Because um, your build's not ready for it. <laughs> you're I not would, ready. This is what you're going to be using against the Nameless King. Oh, Awesome. I'm so happy that you like have a plan and everything. You can use it against uh, Dragon Slayer armor too if you want. It will be better than this current sword you're rocking, because he does use lightning. Better than my current sword? No, sorry, your shield, because you're rocking a crest shield, but this shield's what for fire. What the fuck? All right, let's go to the top of these stairs and take a look around. Take a look around. Do we, we want these one? I mean, you're still in danger of fire because. I don't know if you uh, noticed. There happens to be a big old dragon thing in front of you. I don't know if you saw it. There happens to be a passageway right there. Wow! Well, you should wait for them to not have fire in it, which means you should probably back away so that it's, like, not aware of you again. Before we begin surgery, we have to do these timeouts where we're like, all right, this is you the patient. Should, you want to get further away. This is the patient. This is what we're doing. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody's sure. got, like, their role to say. And the surgeon has to, like, identify sources of, like, ignition and, like, fire danger. In the person's body? No. Like, it's before we make incision. Go for it. So he's like, uh, the prep is alcohol-based, so um, that's a fire source. The light is... Don't go for the item. Not yet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And some of the surgeons are, like, super meticulous about what they Ooh. see and some are like it's gonna be really hard to start a fire let's go yeah <laughs> why is a fire a concern in a surgery is this 
common problem? It's not common, but it's super fucking scary when it happens. Cause Wait, it, it does happen? Yeah. Why would there be a fire in a... So, alright. Sources of, um... Oh, oh my god. Oh, you're getting jumped. Yeah, this it's like a superpower of yours. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> what? So we use alcohol-based prep, right? Alcohol is flammable, right? <laughs> But as you said that, you caught on fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is awesome. Um, and heat sources uh, are like the light source, like if we're using a camera, or like electrocautery, which is used almost every case. All right, how many more of those fuckers are there? There's a ladder down there, and there's at least... <gasps> what is that? It's the foot. Oh my god, can I kill it from its foot? I can't believe you didn't. I guess you didn't encounter this last time. No, because I... Why don't you uh, just take out these guys first, because they seem to be a more pressing concern. Because I pinged them. Oh, Chad's got the fires. Nice. Alright, so you're saying that... Well, and so, really? <laughs> Remember, it's always, it's always not in your favor. Really, fire is super scary when we're doing, like, oral surgeries? Oh, god! Whoa! That was close. Well, let's take a look at this, actually. Wait, is there one more? Yep. yep. How'd you know, Chad? Because, I, one, I remembered, and two, I saw him, actually. You, you could see his, him moving. I did not. You always got to check your six. All right, take a look at that. Holy crap. It's the pus of man in, in the a dragon. dragon. Interesting. But it's not pus of dragon. That is correct. So what does that mean? Uh, that... Humanity is infecting these dragons. Does it? Or is this, that what it means? Or maybe I would the keep my man from that fucker turned into a dragon. You can actually fight that thing, um, but remember they're super weak against fire. I can't lock onto it. I can't fight it. Not yet. Get closer. Oh, traps some. Also, you maybe we use bust out some black fire bombs. Um. Yeah, so, no, but no, let's let's think about that. And maybe the other firebombs, too. I'd just just toss a bunch of firebombs at it till it dies. Till it dies, till it's dead. Um, right, I come in down here, blah, blah, blah. Have you... So what does that mean? Or not at least mean. Let's say... We, let's say we don't know for sure, but what could it imply? Boom, bitch. Maybe you should let it get out first. No, you're just... You're just there you go. Watch, watch what happens. Should I attack it? You can use the firebombs now, is what I'm listening to. Or you, or you can just do that, but, you know, firebombs are... Holy shit! Huh. That was, like, worse than a normal bus, I feel, don't you? No, I'm super weak to fucking everything, dude. Like, <laughs> No, but the... I don't remember them cursing. Did he? I, I, I got scared. I, I got scared. I didn't mean to do that. Come in. Okay, so... so but what is what is there being a puss of man in a Drake imply? <clears throat> that either like the puss of man is uh, fall off. Oh, thank God it wasn't that far. Like infecting bigger and badder things, or it's like something that's transforming. Let's try to break it down to the puss of man only affects man because it's called the puss of man. Okay. What what then? Assuming that doesn't apply. That That's really good damage. Dragon is man, and man is dragon. Right. Whoa! That what? I didn't think it would wipe out the whole fucking thing. Well, because it's part of it. Wow! In fact, if you look at the other one, it stopped moving. Holy shit! Why did that one stop moving too? Maybe they're like related somehow. Like soul bound. Maybe. Um. What no, it's got a thing too, but it's exactly, not moving. Exactly. Why That's did they weird. both become active when you started pissing it off? So maybe the pu is there anything around the corner? Maybe the pus of man is like a hive yeah, mind. Well, well maybe because remember, remember, Osiris was trying to become a dragon. Uh huh. He was a king. He kind of pseudo half. Succeeded. He looked more dragon than not dragon. Yeah. Um, and then you see all these. On dead, who are becoming kind of like trees. Uh huh. But these trees end up looking more like dragons in the end. Um, they're actually called pilgrim butterflies. 
which is interesting. I thought they're called angels. Uh, well, that's the thing we don't know. Maybe the angels are something else. Uh huh. Okay. But let's just try to keep each of these things separate. We're scared. And if we learn yeah. something is the same, then we can condense them. Okay. okay. All right. So we know that they're pilgrim butterflies. We don't actually know that yet, but I'm just skipping ahead here. So that, and then we know that that. So there's there's this like there's like this life cycle huh. almost of dra- of of undead to like tree type thing to pilgrim butterfly maybe maybe to drake excuse me um but osiris well, is part is kind of like a drake as well or a dragon as well all right let's go back inside but what progresses things upon that like evolution you know right exactly um so Way back in two, I was suggesting that I had this like master um, lore plant idea. Yep. I have a theory relating to giants and humanity and um, and all that, but uh, I want to. I wanted. You're to, saving it. I wanted to save it for Dark Souls Three. That's correct. <gasps> Are we related to starting giants? to unravel we're, that? We're going to start unraveling it oh now. Oh my fucking god. I don't have the full time to like get into it in this episode. So I'm just not. But I'm going to kind of like... Basically, the idea is that... Um, oh my god, there's so fucking many. Humans are becoming more like dragons. Or at least wanting to become more like dragons. And... Um. The nope. The giants. You notice that giants, especially in in two, and a little bit in three, in that one that one giant that is right outside Firelink, they become trees, right? Mm-hmm. And then you enter their memories. Well, the trees are. Nice. Yeah, you're gonna shit ton of these scales. It's fucking awesome. Swimming in them, baby. Yeah. Um, you might want to. You could try your Lloyd's Talisman or whatever if you want to. I don't. Do I have any? I don't know, but or whatever. Undead hunter. I don't forget what. This seems really dangerous. Yeah, to get one but not the other. Well, that thing won't attack you unless I do that. Well, that one with the the light, the lamp. He sets them all off. You kill them, so the rest of them are pretty much harmless. No, you don't have any. I think it, I want to say it is worth it, but I don't recall. Is it worth it right now? Is there a closer... The Here's still a ways before the next, but here's the thing. It's a lot of work to get back here, as you've seen. I only have two flasks. That's true, too. And what you want to do, most importantly, is open up that gate. Because yeah. if you don't open that gate, you know, bone. you've got a ways to go. Well, the dragon's going to stay dead, right? Um, I believe so, actually. So yes. that's a shortcut. So you just opened up itself. your shortcut, so you're good. You can probably go into the to get that item and then go fight the the mimic. Okay, all right, that's yeah, I do. That sounds good. So, um, the the dragons are tr- or sorry, are the people are becoming dragons, and the giants are becoming trees. And the giants are becoming trees. Well, in the very first Dark Souls, what was the Earth? Uh, life trees dragons and trees so you lived reverting back that's my defense is so high <laughs> this is a different one yeah it's true this is one of the smaller ones i'm actually just super although if it grabs you now you're dead but um yeah you don't want to drink until you're drinking full right because you it's your last one. Oh god that's risky <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, oh that's God, actually oh God, the, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. the the crux of the uh, of the idea. Is, is that, that it's reverting back type thing? Oh, oh yeah, totally worth it. Totally worth it. You so, might be able to level it up twice. I just I'm just gonna try. Yeah, to that actually is my, my. Oh, you think as the fire fades? As the fire fades, the gray of the earth, the returning back to the everlasting dragons and the arch trees is the natural cycle it's trying to return back to before man and of course man is trying to resist it because what is man uh, in that 
it, the, scheme. Man originally was um, part of the the pygmy mm-hmm. and the the part of the the original f- you know the flame that Gwyn found. Um, you found the dark soul, right? Or not you, but you know, man. Man found the dark soul, um, and so. Um, obviously you want to resist it, but that is essentially what's happening is there's a, there's a there, that's the, the bastard. Thing. Yeah. Um, and I, that's what I think is happening. I think it's all trying to like revert and not just revert in a, to the age of darkness, which is a possibility because you know, the age of darkness, like darkness, darkness, like where humanity is the dark soul. Mm-hmm. Cause I think there's the fire there's the darkness, but then there's something else too. There's the ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you had such a good opportunity too. That's what makes it suck that you had an opportunity to drop them. I don't need no opportunity attacks. Sure. Okay, so there is, I believe, there are enemies down there. There is, I believe, one item down there. I don't think any of it's worth it, but I'm I'm not sure about that item. But yeah, definitely kill him. A bastard. There's a guy there. You, There's no reason to fight that guy. There's nothing over there you need. And just stay away from him. I don't know if there's an item there, though. Yeah, I think you might be in the clear here. Nice. I, I hear a bunch so, of heavy So does movements. that make sense? How there's the fire, there's the darkness, but then there's also, like, another... Like, the world is kind of naturally turning back to... So why would we not want to light the fire, then? If man... Leaves after that. Well, no, because yeah. remember, man is a product of the abyss, is darkness. <clears throat> mm. So man doesn't want to, um, to naturally man, uh, n- man's place is the the abyss, is the darkness. But you know, each person could decide differently, and that's the choice you make when you pick your ending. There's a chest like right in front of you. Did you not see it? Well, if they wouldn't make everything the same color. Yes, if everything weren't so dark and gloomy. Anyway, that's my. Oh my god. That's my idea. Is that's my. I don't know. I I'm not sure if I'm. I'm not. I don't think I came up with that idea. No, but you, you did. It's all organic and original. I don't know. Taken to Twitter. I've never heard it before. I've never oh. heard that. There's like a. It doesn't. It doesn't work if you try to go on it. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's not working right it's now. It's broken. Um, but, yeah, I've never heard of anyone else having this idea. And you, but, but I don't think that I'm, like, some sort of genius who, who unlocked it all on my own. You know, I just... I think you did. It's just a random idea well, that with, I had. Well, I helped. Um, there is an item down there, but I don't think you need it. Oh, down that broken. And it's a it's kind of a one-way for you, because there's those two knights. You can, like, run past them. See those, remember those guys? Oh yeah. Mm. I wouldn't say it's worth mm. it. I don't think it, the item is worth it. I don't remember, but I remember it's not the best. Well, I mean, uh, how many souls do I have? Yeah. Enough to level. You're about to hit Dragon Slayer armor. I have enough to level and to uh, level up my sword. Yeah, <gasps> and if you turn around, what? What yeah. is that? Well, you've already found one of those mm. previously. I was excited though. But if you go back, um, is that door let's, locked? Uh, let's open. There's that. If you step on that, you'll unlock the shortcut that leads back to the, a much earlier part, and you can use that as your bonfire. I think I know where this is going. Yeah. Um, that way, if you do die, or if you want to head back right now. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll head back right now and drop down, try to get the item. Actually, no, I have souls that I could put to good use, right? You do, yeah. But there's a little bit more to explore, but. There's a good chance without any I potions got you're gonna die. So you want a home homeward bone? Uh, I mean, I can just run there, but yeah, I can homeward bone. I have enough. Just homeward bone for time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I can just homeward bone. I always forget that I can just homeward bone to this round bonfire. Yeah. I was thinking I was gonna have to go boom. through two load screens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bloodborne. Fucking <laughs> god. Well, and they were. Took forever, it seemed like. Oh, they, they definitely did. All right, they, let's see. If they we did can improve them later on, but juice yeah. this bad boy up. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, so how much are we getting for this one? Oh my oh god! My Look at god. that. You're going up like by 40, 50 points. Very nice. 
And that oh, what is that? Another another well, 30, 40. That's another 40 to 50 points again. I don't understand the plus and the like this each side of the plus because before the left side of the plus on the magic went up significantly and now this other side of the plus goes up significantly. I don't know. I can't tell you why, but but I need two more scales. So you st- oh, you serious? I'm super serious. It's grayed oh, out. Oh shit, you had so many. Okay, but this is the last scale you'll need though, those two. Uh what's it after that? Slab? It's to a, get it up the to five. Slab. And do you already have a slab? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess slab shoot. There you go. Alright, two more scales. Alright, go level. <clears throat> level uh we said we were gonna do dexterity. <laughs> Come on now, guy. Come on. Quit jashing me. Alright. I know everybody wants to see my stats because I'm doing so good. These are them. This is uh in game stats that everybody should have. Um, and then you just keep pumping your intelligence until you can't learn no more. <laughs> until you've done learned all the things. Learned all the things. Alright, let's get back in there and let's explore that last little bit that's around before you. Uh, so we're gonna actually travel to somewhere else. Yeah, to. Um, the snowfield. No, the, the dancer. Oh, so like, like. Way back in the beginning. <sighs> yeah, dancer of the Boreal Valley. Yeah, there you go. Dish one. Uh, and we're gonna explore. We're gonna go back up the elevator uh-huh. um, and explore that. There's like the causeway. There's two causeways you want to check out. Yeah. So anyway, so that was that's not like a, an all encompassing. But that's so just one more like piece of the puzzle because these giants are becoming trees, and it's almost like, and uh, people are becoming dragons, and. Cats and dogs are living together. I don't know why it's like that. Um, make sure you send that elevator back down. Yeah, I could see that being a pain in the ass. Although standing there waiting. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can on. sneak around and be like, <laughs> but it's really nerve wracking. So, but you've played through the game several times with that mindset and like looked for clues as to like if it all fits together in the way that you were talking about, right? Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, obviously, I think it's a it's a theory that works best with the third game only because you know each new game it's Rings not like so they long. thought of that would when one was coming out mm-hmm. they kind of thought of it as a go around the other way mm-hmm. that way yeah. um they, th- they probably thought about it like after the fact you know what i mean just kind of piece it together yeah so it's probably mostly involved with three rather like than... you know it would be really sick but i mean all of this this like just, there's just so Why many... do people want to become dragons? Why, well, is there a oh, want there? Oh, Cyrus is mad, so let's just say that. Yeah, okay. Because, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a dragon man? Dragons are awesome. <laughs> do you know Trogdor? Yeah. Yeah, I know Trogdor. Man. man. We went to school dragon. together, he and I. Oh. That's cool, I guess. Well, you just went right into this situation, didn't you? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? No, I usually, like, ping the No, dude, the all archers. wizards... All wizards are known for their bravery and gusto. And their plan Omega. Which we've just discovered in D&D. We have, which... Uh, yeah, we inadvertently created every plan as plan Omega when certain people don't show up. Is that... like a well-known thing? No. I thought that was... No, that's just our, our group. Nobody knows what the hmm. fuck we're talking about right now. You're gonna die. These... Guys are really strong, Travis. And hold on. I, what, what do you mean I can chain drink? What do I? What do I do to chain drink? You hit it again. You keep hitting it. Oh, I. You told me not to button mash. Oh my god. <laughs> Going back on your word, man. I tell you what. What did you think you were trying to do? I was holding the button. No, you don't hold it. You hit it again while before you're done with the animation, and you'll go. I can't believe you're only just That's now learning this. I can't believe you're only just now teaching me. I did. I told you that many times. Liar. Unless it's this way. You should put a little thing that says liar ahead. I don't know how. <gasps> night that ring. looks that important. Is definitely read that. These ring, the night ring um, was in the original game, if you recall. The ring of the night. And, yeah, let's read it. Right. Ring engraved to the portrait of a knight increases strength. In Lothric, the knight has long been considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule and were thus allowed to rear dragons. What? You notice that these three pillars, uh, the three pillars was also mentioned on another item. I do remember that. I don't remember what it is. but um, 
I want to say it was uh, Angel Knight gear. This guy looks easy. I could just, there we go. Um, he has no shield. There is like a, a sage. There, I believe there's a sage ring that increases your int by five points. We'll be. Uh, we'll be wanting to. Oh, oh, oh. Rock did you? Did that you see? Ring. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did, oh, oh my yeah. god! You did really great. I got so lucky though. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty lucky. All right. Okay. What, what are we gonna learn here? The lore. Oh, what is that? The. Does it look familiar? Oh, uh, mm, I didn't. Praise the sun. That's awesome. Where am I? Altar of Sunlight. You discovered oh, the Altar of Sunlight. This destroyed statue is the same destroyed statue you can find in Dark Souls 1 and in Dark Souls 2. Really? Yeah. I don't it's remember the it same from either look. of them, but. Uh, it's a while back, so I don't, I don't blame you for not remembering. But they're there, and they are pretty great. Nice. Do I offer sunlight medals? It doesn't matter. You don't need to. Leave. Not right now. Um, What's this doing here, though? Yeah. But, of course, it's destroyed because, remember, the Gwyn got mad at his son and basically just eradicated him from... Existing. Yeah. Now, Gwyn definitely does not like dragons. All right, but mm, this king, sense. Osiris, really does. Don't forget about that chest back there. Is Osiris the new Gwyn? I don't really think so because Gwen is long gone. But Osiris is obviously a king. Yes. Up there. Oh yeah. Just what and I then, need. But look up, look up with these these new these new dragon formed. They're called uh, pilgrim. Butterflies. Yeah, pilgrim butterflies. Pilgrim, which is more like those pilgrims that we saw before, which we will learn about in um, the DLC a bit more. So is this like where they're being like born, or is this like? They're strapped down and burning here, or is this just like? I don't know, man. I don't know. But uh, we're gonna have to find out maybe next episode on Rough Night Gaming. Wow, that's a big one. This is a big episode. Yeah, my head is like spinning. But for now, this has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus, and I'm Travis. And until next time, don't go hollow. <laughs>